This is the Off Your Roost podcast. Yeah. Cody, Woo. we finally got a real guest. Yes, mm. finally. Walker Montgomery, welcome to the podcast. You're Man. off your roost. I'm, Dude, I'm so off my roost right now, you have no idea. We're in Mississippi Turkey Camp, and it's a celebration night, and it should be every night we're in hunting camp, Cody. It should That's be. true. Although not for Cody, because he walked eight miles today and didn't even hear a turkey gobble. Yeah, yeah, screw Sean that. Sean and I, we'll get Sean on later. But uh, me and Walker, we heard a, a lot of turkeys gobble. Yeah, we. I'll tell you what, man. I saw a turkey, and I just shot, you know, over there towards it. Over oh, yonder. Uh, so, basically, what <laughs> Just over there. I'm glad Walker's better at singing than he is at shooting. <laughs> Dude, man, I just I had to let it go. It was just a uh, – I signed a contract with the turkey. But uh, no, I, I messed up. I, I missed. He, uh, but then he shot a tur- he shot a turkey at fifty yards. Whoops! How yeah. far was he when you missed him? Uh, probably about ten, fifteen. What'd you say? I'd give him a good fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> there was two of them. Like, hey, dude, hey, here's the thing. At least I own up to it. You know, some people try to make all these damn excuses and all that. I I'm tried gonna, to make excuses for you. I was like, yeah, I know. It kind of pissed me off. Like, I ain't gonna did lie. you I'm get like, a bad I, shell? I'm did like, you, dude, I just missed the turkey. Did it's you have fine. dust like, in your eye? I mean. <laughs> I just missed it. It's fine. I'm used to it. Well, <coughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna crack open this beer though. The uh, the redneck yeah. came out of me a little bit when he missed. Oh. He was just a shade outside. <laughs> I said, "Give me that gun." Stood up and I don't think I, I didn't think he could run that fast. To be honest with you, oh. I sent it. He, the turkey should have ran he faster. He told me he was dude, an it was athlete a full back in the sand. day. It was Zach a full said he sand. was an athlete back. Oh, in the day. dude, I mean, hell, I was an athlete back in the day. Everybody was an athlete. Dude, back you're like in the day. 22, ain't you? Yeah, I'm 22, but you're hell. in your prime. Man, I you know I know that should be the case, but like if I drink heavily one night, I just start to I, like in the next day I'm just useless. So I'm starting to feel those like hangovers kick in more, and I'm I'm, I'm feeling older than I am. Well, come on in, the water's fine. Come on, <laughs> Did, hey, I used to play high school football, and I so almost did went, I. I almost went pro. Then I figured out I was a little too slow and Dude, not quite big enough. Yeah. What position were you? I was a linebacker, but I was not good. I mean, I was good. Real, <laughs> real good. Real good. <laughs> real good. But uh, a little, oh, yeah. little too slow. Hell. Not quite good enough. I would. I was. I was a little slow and not quite good enough too. Why yeah. is it that men always relive their glory? Hey, Get out of our podcast. I was. People. Hey, I'm this just, is our hey, podcast. Hey, Why is it that women always a interrupt? Question: Why do men, once they finish high school football, hey. and they were never going to be professional athletes, you guys just like play? Well, you don't know that. School, then you reflect on that for the rest of your bloody life. Because Australia doesn't have real hey. sports. Go away. That's no, true. It's, hey. a, it's a question for all the men. Like, oh, they were my. What do you call them? <laughs> Years, my years of glory. What's the, It's like they call it after a, after a basketball player. We don't want to close the yearbook, but we do want you to go away. <laughs> yeah, Zach, we're gonna keep talking. We finally talking. got a real guest on the podcast, and she comes back. Zach and I's glory days were last night playing Dude, bags. We we first of all, oh, you damn yank. It's <laughs> it's. Uh, oh. Let's talk about the cornhole last you night. You want to talk Walker? about cornhole? Yeah, and first of all, we do it because I loved being the quarterback. Yeah. Let's talk about why you call Cody a Yankee. Because he's from Wisconsin. <laughs> I love Wisconsin. I'll tell you what. I bet. Yeah, you better. I love the North, dude. Like, Boston is such an amazing town. Dude, you can't relate Wisconsin with Boston. Well, no, I'm just talking about the North in general. They don't but even like, have cheese curds. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you they don't, actually. We're a lot cooler. Yeah. No, dude, but we went to, I think I told you this last night, but we went to Wyuwega, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. And, dude, and this is probably illegal as hell, but the chief of police, like, knocked on our bus door and was like, hey, uh, what do y'all want to do today? And I was like, well, I mean, we play at 7 o'clock. Uh, we we're just kind of planning on hanging out here. He was like, well, we've got a bunch of sawed-off shotguns, and we kind of want to shoot them and wanted to know if you wanted to join. And I was like, do you think you could hit a turkey with a sawed-off shotgun? Dude, I don't know if I could hit a turkey with a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh, only one way to find out. <laughs> only one. Don't <laughs> tempt me. All right. Don't I'm tempt buy- me with a good time. I'm buying a cannon. But So if anybody's listening to this and wants to give Walker an ammunition sponsorship, do it. We- do it. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad I missed a turkey. I don't care. I- we got, But we got a turkey on the ground. That's all that matters. So. We did do that. We frying some turkey tomorrow. That's all that matters, dude. So in high school, you were a quarterback I and you quarterback. played music. Mm-hmm. 
So calling the women was probably ca- easier than calling the turkeys back then. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Well, I never learned how to call the turkeys, I guess, obviously. I didn't learn how to play the music or p- throw the football, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Man, th- football football was fun. It was a great time. But then, uh, you know, music kind of started taking over. And it was uh, – it was just time, and it kind of goes. It kind of goes back, you know. I was like, I kind of had to look myself in the mirror, and I was playing basketball too. And uh, hey, I think those. That's those, a pop. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. I've never drank a dose. Dos Dos You've never drank a dose. I. I drink Bush Light, and now we're drinking Bud Light. What has happened to us? Uh, I don't know. Well, for one, we're out of beer. I we do have a special guest here tonight. Yeah. He came in our podcast, James. How are you? Pretty good, James. <laughs> did you turkey hunt today? I did. And we did not do anything. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter when you come back and there's a, like a lot of crawfish and a lot of beer. Right. One down, four up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Exactly. How the beginning of the trip? Oh, dude, like? this trip has been the <laughs> biggest... Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to say it where I don't have to edit it. All right, failure. Yeah, it's oh, oh yeah, no. fa- not a failure. Hell no, we got a turkey oh, on the yeah. ground, dude. Are you right. kidding me? We experience. killed a turkey. Experience. It's been an experience. They, oh my gosh, dude, dude it's been such right. a good time. We got here. I couldn't figure out how to unlock the gates because I was like, well, I need a key. How do they expect me to do it? Obviously, they were dummy locked. But I got here, dude, and I was like, this is. The best place ever. I mean, that pond, dude, is beautiful. Everything. I mean, just it's it's all so amazing, dude. And I didn't know that Mississippi had these many hills. No. Mississippi has mountains, apparently. Dude, we climbed them. Yesterday when we were turkey hunting, I thought we were in, like, Colorado or something. You should have seen what we did this afternoon, Cody. You should have seen. We were elk hunting. Dude. We were elk hunting. Dude, I went elk hunting for the first time last November. Went elk hunting and killed a mule deer. But, uh... Dude, I mean, I was like, that's when I realized I was out of shape because of COVID. <laughs> I was, because like, it was, I mean, I was breathing. I felt like I smoked a pack of cigarettes just climbing up a hill. I was hey, like, oh. Hey, guys, let's take a break. I was like. <sighs> <"Hunt's hard." sighs> yeah, it's a workout, dude. And today was hard. Yeah. I kept looking back to make sure my friends were still with me because we were, we climbed a mountain. Dude, Matt, Sean, and I, I think we got. Four miles in, then four miles back out. Well, if y'all did, eight, and we, we didn't did. hear a single bird, y'all well, should have went nine miles, dude. Apparently, Matt should have came with you. Apparently, Matt is Forrest Gump crossing the country, and oh, yeah. is just like good to go for nine miles. Dude, that guy's an animal. Dude, I th- I think I might have had to tell him, like, dude, I can't I can't do this. I'm going back to camp and drinking beer. This trip did not start off in the most ideal way. It actually, I thought it was going in a great direction. We were on the way here. And we left a day early. We'll have plenty of time. I'm driving, and Mary says, we don't have to be in camp till 2 tomorrow. So I pulled my phone up, and I was like, there's public land everywhere right here. So I whooped it off on the first exit. We got turned around. We saw a turkey strutting in a field. Cheese curd over here. Cheese curd went and asked for permission. The people said, yes, we could hunt it. So we were fired up. Trip's going great. We go the next morning. We do not kill that turkey. He goes the other way. Then Mary calls. She says she's locked herself out of the camper in a Walmart parking lot. We have to go back to let her in. Ruins her whole hunt. Then she had a whole pot of. She had water. You, yeah, yeah, kettle. She on had a, a kettle of water she boiling. Could have burned that thing down. And we were 15, 20 minutes away. And the, the dog time. was in there. Not safe. My dog. <laughs> You're not safe. Yeah. Your, dog. Your dog's been whining, though, dude. Yeah, I wish she'd have burned that son <laughs> down. He's been. God. So uh, oh, she would have got lost. Oh, but then yeah. we go to leave Walmart. We hook the camper up, pull out. It comes unhitched. You should see my truck right now, I, I, dude. The I, I RV saw it. came unhitched, slammed down upon the bed of my truck, and it is ruined. Dude, she sent me a picture because we we were here for like two hours w- before y'all got here, and she sent me a picture. So she was like, "Mate, we had a little problem on the highway." Or, or 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 not on the highway in a Walmart parking lot, and she sent me a picture of like your hand and the gooseneck, and I was like, what, not good. "What's wrong? What's wrong with it?" And then y'all pulled up in your trucks like this. <laughs> I was like, "It's kind of oh, damn." It's got a bit of a U in the bed, it if does. you will, and the tailgate's gone. Okay. But then I killed a turkey, so today's been. Killed it kind of brought the trip back. If we'd have killed two turkeys, that would have been probably cooler. But I'm okay with one. It's my first turkey in Mississippi. 
Dude, it, I shot at a turkey in Mississippi. Well, Amen. when was that? Thanks, buddy. Amen. Yeah, I did miss. I'm proud Don't. of it. Dude, I'm dude, I'm not proud of it, but I'm you not, know, I'm not making excuses, I'm telling you. I was more mad at the fact that you only shot once than that you missed. Well, cuz I thought I had it, man. <laughs> Sailed it right over his snood. But every was, time, and you could see, dude, it was. I mean, oh, right it was, over, right over, right over the top. It freaked him out. I, Cody, I've missed a lot of turkeys, like a lot, dude. So but have I. I've always Obviously. sent. I've sent three down range, even if I couldn't even see the turkey. <laughs> I just felt like I got to empty this gun right now. So I just shoot. Dude, I've missed so many deer, but then, like, I'm trying to think. My first, I think I told you this earlier today. My first turkey hunt, I was like nine, or something like that, and. Eight turkeys came in that day. Missed every single one of them. <laughs> and it took me three years to get my first gobbler up in Kentucky. And, I'll, I'll dude, I'll go th- five years missing everything. And then I freaking sniped a mule deer at 424. Man, hit a streak. Like, in November. And it's like, how? why do I do that? But I can't hit a gobbler from 10 miles away. We need to get you a 10-gauge with a modified choke. No, dude. I'll tell you what. I need. I do need a modified choke. But my best turkey kill was with a freaking bow and arrow, dude. Maybe we need to stick with the bow and arrow. Was it a recurve? Yeah, dude. Did he get out? I swear, dude. You killed a turkey with a recurve. It was ten yards away. Well, your bird was twelve yards this afternoon with a freaking shotgun. Cody missed a hog at fifteen yards the other day with a recurve. I'm telling you, ask I my ask my dad, dude, because he gets these. Yeah. That's they, they send them to him, and I'm like, I, we were in Kansas, and also Kansas is the easiest place to turkey hunt. We got there at like 9 a.m., and I'm like, <laughs> dang. The whole time man. I'm like, what what are we doing? Like, why are you why are you waking up this late? And we got there about 10 minutes into it. This turkey just walks out. He goes, shoot that one. I said it's the only one in the field. Yeah, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. Just ran, ran like 10 yards, 15 yards. It was dead, but it's mounted in my room right now. First Kansas turkey. Cody with. can't hit nothing with a recurve, so I'm glad you did that. Hey, Maybe dude. you need to take a recurve in the morning. Hell no, dude. We got one in hey. the camper. Do you actually? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's mine. It was his dude. grandpa's. It's my grandpa's from the late 60s. Dude, I might actually do that. Dude. Dude, that's would, so, dude it's fun. I'll if, tell you what, man. If he does that in the morning, I'm going to take a shotgun and sit right next to him. <laughs> You better. God, you better. It's dude, I'll tell you what, man. That is actually one of the most fun experiences oh, ever though, dude. Absolutely. It's such a di- like I thought compound bows were fun, like shooting deer with cuz it is a different experience than shooting with absolutely. a rifle. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. But having that, having that recurve, I was just like what the, this is so it's it's like surreal. It is. Yeah. And the thing I like about it is it's just like the history aspect like Yeah. Even just from, like, getting it from my grandfather, though, it's like yeah. people before us used no sights, wooden arrows. You yeah. know, and I thought I found an arrowhead today. What did you? It was a, it was a piece of one. Mm. No, it wasn't, dude. It sure looked like it. It was too thick at the end. It was pretty sharp, though. It, it was it sharp. I will give him that. I will give him that. I thought it was a scraper that they used to scrape the hides. And he threw, well, he that, threw it in the bushes it like it was nothing. I didn't throw it you in said, the bushes. Hold on for a threw second. Can we appreciate that you said bushes instead of bushes? Bushes. bushes. The bushes. Yeah. Dude, your wife said, what does she say? <laughs> We're having a, a, a bush bash or something, a bush bash. My and wife says like, a lot of things. I was like, Mary. <laughs> Mary Whether or not they're directed was like, towards hey, you. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> she says some stuff. But oh man, that, that 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 was funny. So Walker, we we hunt turkeys for a living right now. That's kind of what we do. You play the music for a living. Mm-hmm. What's the weirdest thing you've ever had happen to you with your job? Uh, the weirdest thing. That's a great question. Oh man, that is a. That, I mean, dude, there's been a lot of weird things. You know, and it yeah. depends on like the weird thing, whether it's on the stage or like on the road or something like that. I remember we were at Saddlebags in uh, Savannah, Georgia, which is a great joint, by the way. and uh, Sounds intriguing. I've dude, been there. Saddlebags. Have you actually? In Savannah? Yeah, dude. It's on, like right on River Street. Yeah, yeah, with Cobble, Cobblestone Road oh, and shit I've like that. Oh, I've been there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, dude, we I mean, it was my first time playing there. We were opening up for John Langston. 
Mm. And it was actually, I think it might have been Kentucky Mike's first show with us. And I was doing some song or whatever. And I go into the crowd. And they're patting me on the back and all that stuff. And all of a sudden, this woman just full hands, not even asking, just grabs my balls. <laughs> that is not what you want. And, <laughs> and I was, I mean, I was like, I didn't care, but it, 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 took, it took me by surprise, man. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> I don't care a little bit. Yeah. I was you like, just violated me, lady. I was like, I'm going to hit the high notes from now on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I was, and I got up, I remember I got back up on stage and my sound guy was so mad at me. And I said, one of y'all just grab my balls. And the crowd got silent. And this one girl just goes, woo! <laughs> I was like, oh, God, it was you. But that was definitely one of the weirder things that, that happened. And you'll probably have to edit that out. But I think we keep it. I don't know. We'll put it to the review team. I Yay. thought it was a pretty great story. Dude, it was. It, I'm, Those in favor of keeping it? it was, <laughs> <laughs> dude, that, hey, that stuff happens more than you think, dude. Like, we'll, do be, we'll, we'll be doing meet and greets and stuff like that. And people will just come up and just grab my butt. And I'm like. I'm not a piece of meat. And I'm you like. calm down. I'm like, if, I, I, I usually respond some smart outcome. I mean, I'm like. Hey, it was, it was firm, wasn't it? Or something like that. She'd be like, how tender <laughs> is it? <laughs> how tender is it? And some people ask. And I'm like, I couldn't imagine going up to somebody and being like, hey. Can I touch your butt? Yeah. I, I don't think I could do that. Just as a person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> but that, some weird things happen on the road. Weird things happen to us on the road. I can only imagine. And they're not bad things. It's just like well, for you, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. We run into a lot of meth heads on the road. And I saw it, one at Walmart the other day. Well, weird situation. Uh, well, you were at a Walmart and an expensive in Mississippi. Situation. That brings <laughs> up another talk. <laughs> I was like, this Walker, is bad. This is something that's been a thorn in my side for a while. You're from Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky gets a bad rap. They say that you people like your cousins. You know what third, I mean? First, second, or third. Wait, give me a chance. Don't get mad. I ain't give getting me, mad. Give me a I chance. Get, hey, dude, I've heard it before. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, so I got married in the state of Tennessee, and when that happened, I was reading, like, the laws. In yeah, the there's state some, of, In yeah. the state of Tennessee, yeah. it is 100% legal to marry your first cousin. In Kentucky, it is illegal to marry your first and second cousin. So why are we making fun of Kentucky? Make fun of Tennessee. Come well, it's on. the same thing, like y'all heard, that Kentuckians don't wear any shoes. You heard that? Never. Oh, no. really? Tennessee uh -oh. doesn't have good first cousins, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Man, but there, so there's a stereotype that Kentucky's, Kentuckians don't wear any shoes. And, I mean, obviously. You've wore shoes the whole time you've been here. Yeah, man, I know, right? But I was kind of disappointed when we went hunting and you wore the, boots. The, I thought you'd be barefoot. I was wearing my Red Wings, dude. They're the best boots in the world. Sponsor me. But, <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't know. Kentucky, Kentucky's a great state, and obviously it gets a bad rap and all that, you know. Obviously, that whole thing should be kicked to Arkansas. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you what. Arkansas gets a bad rap. I love Arkansas, dude. We went to Mountain Home, Arkansas. Arkansas should get a bad rap. <laughs> I went to a gas station in Arkansas one time, and the bathroom had a sign, like the normal no smoking sign, yeah. and then under it was a paper sign, and it said, or pot, or meth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Dude, I remember we walked into a bar one time, and we were doing a show. Wow, where was it? I think it was like in Ohio or something like that. And we walked into this bar, and it said, no smoking, but we let you smoke. <laughs> and it was like, I was like, I like this place. I walked into a gas station in Georgia one time, and there was a sign on the door, a paper that said, lost dog, prime normal, and under that, and goat. And it had a picture of the dog and the goat together like they were friends. So if you see a lost dog and a goat, call them people. Oh. Call them people. We had a show in Lewisburg, Kentucky, and they had like a dog contest. And this woman brought her goat. And I was, Why I not? walked up and I was like, oh, look at the cute dogs. What the, what the hell? 
is going on. And it was a freaking goat, dude. And it was like a goat that did, you know, you ever heard of goat yoga? No. Never done it. I've it never done it. It's a southern it. thing. We I've never do done it. Outdoors. No, it's a weird thing, but I've I've never done it, obviously, because, I mean, look do at me. the goats do yoga? No, they, like, climb on top of you and stuff like that, dude. I'm not into it. I mean, no, I don't want a goat climbing on top of me, but she was like, oh, this is his talent. He climbs on you while I do yoga. And I was like, nope. Mm, sounds good. Well, he ain't going to climb was, on me because I ain't going to do yoga, yeah. lady. <laughs> Sounds good. But it was still a dog competition, and this guy was doing, or this gal was doing yoga with a Have goat. you ever done yoga? Dude, I actually have. And they don't, don't judge, don't judge. I'm not judging. And You uh, should do yoga with your trigger finger. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be screwed. It'd be screwed. It's just, but, man, I, so the school I went to, I know, don't fist bump over that. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> man, my school that I went to are, like, acting like drama teacher she was a real big i get i guess a hippie or something like that and she was like okay guys we're gonna learn yoga in sixth grade but every like gender had like i guess the girls and guys were on different sides of the room because she was like i know y'all are getting horny oh, and what? i'm like <laughs> and i was like you're in sixth grade i'm like what what's going on what's this mean lady what's horny What's what, what's thorny? What's uh, what's thorny? Was that the what? lady with the goats? No, <laughs> I, I, bet, I bet she has some goats. So I, I was doing yoga every single day because of my school. Was, I'm pretty thankful that my school didn't require me. To yeah, do yoga. I mean it wasn't like the most fun thing I've ever done. Uh, because it was yoga. Walker, tomorrow we have a bet. What are the odds that you wake up to go hunt in the morning? Oh, dude, I want hunt. Well, first of all, I'm going to wake up to go hunting in the morning because I missed that damn turkey. He's going to be up. Now, I won that bet if he gets up, by the way. Now, if I, if, I mean, if I would have hit that turkey today, I'd be like, screw y'all. Where's the whiskey at? Come on. <laughs> but, but, uh, he's going to be up then. But I'll be, I'll be up. And I'm I'll, not, st I'll still probably drink some whiskey, but I'm not going to lie. Last night when we were going to bed, Zach and I were looking at each other. We were like, that rain's coming in. Oh, well, dude, there's, it ain't looking good. I looked at the radar before I went to bed. I said, I'm sleeping in the morning. I told Cody, I said, Cody, we're sleeping sleeping in. He wakes me up at like 545. Dude, I didn't even set an alarm. Woke up. I was so mad this morning. I woke, oh, I woke, I was I woke madder. up thirsty. I woke up thirsty. Yeah. I walk out the door and Wonder I see why. you and your boxers oh, no. sitting there. <laughs> and you give, me the old, you give me this. And I'm like. Oh, morning, man. Cody yeah. comes in and wakes me up. He said, hey, they're up and they want to go hunt. I said, did they look at the radar? <laughs> and Mary got mad at me. said, you have to get up and we're going. I didn't want to go hunting. Mary told me, you got to get up. They want to go hunt. I said, we're going to get up. We're going to look at the weather. It's going to start raining and we're going to go back to bed. Sure enough, we went back to bed. I was the first one to go back to bed. Thank God. I said, hey, Walker's going to bed down for a little bit. Wake me up when September ends. Yeah. But and then I said, Zach's out. He said, I could tell you, dude, you were on that couch, man. I was. I wasn't I was, feeling it. I knew the rains was a coming. You knew it last night at 9 p.m. Cody, we're about to wrap this thing up. Give yeah. us a prediction for tomorrow. Prediction for tomorrow. Well, you said you might have a spot scoped out. Oh, I do. We found a spot this evening that I think could kill him. But the problem is we had to climb a mountain to get there. Well, Zach's all tagged out. Well, hey, turkeys can't smell like deer can, so mm, that's true. I'll be sweating, but it'll be fine. You got a tag unfilled. Sean has a tag unfilled. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about that, bro. Yeah, no, no problem. So uh, and thanks for making I'm, me talk I'm about yoga. I might give you my recurve. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's not hey, a dude, good shot. Do what? not oh, tell me. Whoa, sorry, dude. When it's a twelve pound pig, I mean, come no, on. Cody, you shot at a hundred and fifty pound sow, fifteen yards and missed, bro. Hey, I had a shotgun 15 yards and missed, so don't feel bad about it. And in the morning, Walker's not going to miss because I'm going to put the decoy at 40 yards so his pattern opens up nicely. Really? Dude, I'm, the same. I'm just going to take off the freaking choke and so see what happens. That turkey just, <laughs> listen, the turkey today, did you aim at, like, his eyeball or did you aim at the base of his neck? I aimed at his eyeball. I said, I'm going to shoot this turkey in the face. Shoot Tomorrow, the we're going to aim... Where the feathers meet the neck. Yeah. Come on. Th yeah, I figured that one Actually, out. Actually, you might need to aim at his wing. Dude, I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it in the ass. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <I> mean, 
Well, glad you came on the Off Yours podcast. I think you fit in just fine. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> thanks for having me. I need a beer. Where's Do you have that? any are, last words? Are you used to coming on a podcast where you don't really talk about music at all? No, and it's actually very refreshing. So what songs do you have coming huh. out, Walker? All right, see you what, uh, what shows do you <laughs> Peace out, boys. And that was off your podcast. Deuces. See ya. Bye now. <laughs>